Hey everybody, I'm Joy and today Elliot is with me and we're going to be talking about something that we've been chatting about recently and that is becoming an adult and what it's really like. And more specifically, what things we wish that people had told us mm -hmm. before becoming an adult. Yeah. From the transition from being free and young yep. to being old and trapped. <laughs> it's not that bad. Trapped. <laughs> On a serious note, being an adult is really good because obviously there's a lot of great things that come with that. You get to pay bills. <laughs> yeah. And you get to do your own thing. And go to work every day. <laughs> At the same time. And spend all your money on rent. <laughs> oh, I give up. And your wife. Elliot, well, yeah, basically, one thing that I wish people told you about being an adult is that you need to have stock answers to questions because there are a set amount of questions that people will ask you all of the time yeah. and those questions are things like when are you going to get married what is your job how is the job going when are you having kids <laughs> right just you wait what you should do get everybody in one room <laughs> yes. and i know it would be rude but stop everyone from speaking and then just shout these answers yes london's great yeah my job is fine no we're not thinking about having any kids yes marriage is going very well thank you <laughs> Does anybody have any questions other than those? those? <laughs> and you'll, I'm telling you, be dead silence. There'll be no, nobody will speak, no and you'll will, be like, "No one will talk to you." Thanks, everyone. Again. I'm going to go and do my own thing for the next four days. See you later. Everyone. The the thing is, it's not just family gatherings at oh, all. Oh no. It's any adults. Any conversation when you meet someone for the first time anything like that you pretty much have to answer those questions so even if you don't know what you're doing just make sure that you have an answer so one of the scariest things about becoming an adult which will invariably happen to everyone is that you begin to become your parents <laughs> yeah now we've noticed this um ever <laughs> since we got married pretty much my family love mugs and before i got married <laughs> and had my own house i was like I've lived with so many mugs in my house. I just want one mug per person. That's all I want. And then two extra or four extra for guests and that's it and they're all gonna be matching. Nope. No. Every time we go anywhere, I buy a mug. Joy sees a mug she wants. I can't, wants I can't and buys stop it. buying mugs. I don't know what's wrong with me. Mugs are literally overflowing out of our cupboard and there's only two of us that live here. Even if we had a party of people, there would still be more than There'd enough, be mugs, enough to mugs to go around. To until the end of time. I can't. Without washing any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, one of the things that I think that we should be warned about before you turn into an adult is the fact that you actually have to keep learning because your spelling will go downhill. If you don't carry on spelling, it will just disintegrate. Your ability to write correctly will go somewhere and I don't know where it goes. I don't think it's required. What do you mean? I don't think the ability to write is required after school and university. Okay, what well, gives okay, you <laughs> that? Why do you think I don't need that? to write anything correctly. Well, this is the thing. It depends what job you have because obviously when you're in school, you have to learn maths and science and everything. Some people say that when they become older, they don't have to use a lot of those things that they used in school. You might like say maths. you wouldn't write that much. I feel like maths is something that you just don't ever use anymore. Well, you don't use it. Yeah. Well, when you see something that's 19.99, you say it was about 19 pounds. <laughs> that's not right. It's not about 19 pounds. 29.99, well, it was about 20 quid. <laughs> what? Keep learning, Keep it's learning, good. Keep learning, basically. But not Pythagoras, because it's pointless. Pythagoras. So, another thing that I wish that people would tell you is that it doesn't matter if you don't have all the answers because nobody does. Yeah. So regardless of whether you're starting a new job or you're just trying to figure out relationships or whatever it is, I feel like when you get older, you kind of realize that everybody is kind of trying to figure out how to do the same things as you. But the only thing is nobody will admit it. So you always feel like you're on your own, but just know that you're not. Do you think people don't admit it? Or do you think that when you reach adulthood, you everybody realizes at the same time that nobody knows the answers to anything because they've just spent know. their last 20 years of their life just faffing around <laughs> doing nothing. I don't know, well I feel like, I think because of social media and stuff, 
I feel like social media makes people feel more like everyone else has everything together. Everyone else knows what they're doing with their life. Everyone's jobs are perfect and that kind of thing. And I think that can kind of create an impression that people have got it all sorted. Yeah. It's not a real representation of real life and it's not a real representation of what people actually deal with on a day to day basis. But the people who post the most stuff on Facebook are the ones that have the least lives. Because let's be real, <laughs> let's be real, if you're out there busy living your life, you haven't got time to update your fake friends on Facebook about what you had for dinner that day. When people have Facebook feeds that are full of stuff, that makes me suspicious. Is there anything in particular that you found that you were kind of like, you didn't know much about it? And you thought that when you were older, you would know like about it, but you didn't? Well... Because I... Okay, for... So <laughs> you, you had an answer. You loaded the question so that you could answer your own question. No, I wanted to see if you actually had then. something. Oh, do well. you have anything, Joy? Maybe? <laughs> Basically, I know for me, for example, in terms of like work and jobs, for some people it's so straightforward. Like you go to university, you study a certain thing, and then it's kind of like you just get the job afterwards. I know for me, it wasn't that straightforward, but it seemed really straightforward to other people. And that's something that I kind of had to figure out along the way what I wanted to do. One thing I had to realize is that I'm not the only one doing that. Like everybody, most people are doing that. Well, most creative. Yeah, yeah, most creative people. So basically you don't have to have all the answers and if you think other people have all the answers, they probably don't. They lie. They lie. And they post too much on Facebook. Making friends when you're an adult is hard. It's harder and it can be more awkward. So you have to work harder at it. You have to make friends because chances are you'll move away from home, you'll leave all your friends behind, you'll go to uni, <laughs> you leave all those uni friends behind, <laughs> you go to work, you don't really want to be friends with the people at work because you have to see them every day. So the chances are you're going to have to make some friends. Yeah, and it requires a bit of effort. A lot of effort. Yeah, it's hard. It is difficult. It's hard finding people that you like. Yeah, and who like you. That's another thing, especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing, especially that you found, I guess, is that you have like... Have hobbies! Hobbies is the one. I need to work on that. I've got so many hobbies. And he is like the hobby master. Let's, listen, if, he if you need a hobby, <laughs> suggesting to you, Come to me. And for each one of his hobbies, he pretty much has like a club. Yeah. <laughs> or a group you go yeah. to and you just meet people there who oh, like the same thing. It's great. Even in those groups and stuff though, it's quite, it can be hard because to start with, it's definitely very surface level. Like you have a shared interest, mm -hmm. but it's still quite surface level. But then once you start going a bit, like you start to get to know people. Yeah. Another thing is staying in is the new going out. Yeah. I'm telling you, when you're an adult, yeah. actually when you're young, there's this pressure where you're like, I need to go to these places, I need to make sure that my face is seen at this party or whatever, I need to make sure that I keep up to date with what's going on. Yeah. No, bye. No. Bye. No. I like telly. TV, sleep. Food. And food. In your house. By 7pm, all of them, then bed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> by 7pm. So, by, by half six, I need, I'm, I've gone full circle. <laughs> I used to eat really late when I was at uni, Did and you? now I need to eat by half six. You won't really care about going out, to be honest, in the evenings or anything like that. It's just chilled. Well, you, you should, like, don't you have to make more go effort. out. Go, go out. Yeah, but, like, don't be a hobbit, but... But, in, in, you know, enjoy the time when you don't have to be with anyone. Yeah. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've not subscribed already, remember to click the subscribe button. And also let me know in the comments what you wish people told you about becoming an adult. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.